Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with The Designer Who Codes, and we're talking media queries and all about breakpoints in regards to Bootstrap 5. Now, Bootstrap 5 did add something brand new. If we scroll down in Bootstrap 4 and before, there was only XS or extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. But now in Bootstrap 5, they've added the extra, extra large or the double XL. So let's take a look at how to use these different breakpoints with media queries inside of Bootstrap 5. Let's move this out of the way. I've got a project right here, which is their default setup template. And what I did is I added a custom CSS file. This custom CSS file looks like this. It is completely empty. So let's go ahead and actually add a media query into the code. It's important to note that in Bootstrap, it counts from mobile forward, whereby it prefers you go from essentially mobile first and then change as you go along. So in theory, what I should do is I'm going to say body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it and add a dark. I hope so if I actually had a background color besides just typing a random statement and let's add a dark purple. Is that even available? <laughs> it's not even not. You know what? That's a really bad idea. Let's just go with purple. So far, O for two. And what should happen if I save this, not saving Chrome, but saving the CSS file, is it doesn't work. Did I not link something up? Did I? Oh, I'm in the wrong link. I'm in the wrong index file. Let's try this one on for size. There we go. That was a previous project I linked to somehow. Anyways, now it's all working. Helps if you have your CSS file and your Chrome project the same file. So by default, this is body. What Bootstrap 5 recommends is that it, you set your settings at small or higher. So what it recommends, and small, if we add a comment to this design, small is 576 plus pixels. So knowing that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say at media, and then set a min width. There we go. And we're gonna say 576 pixels. And in here, then I would change my body to say background is, man, this is twice I have not typed background color appropriately. Background color is green. And if I save that, now everything above that extra small size, there's the mobile size right here, and it defaulted to purple, but I set everything above that size, which is 586 pixels, change to green. If I wanna go even larger, what I can then do is I can set up any size between small, medium, large, extra large, and then if you only hit the XXL, set a certain color. So since the large is gonna be 992, I can set a media query, media, and say min width, and then 992 pixels, and let's add red. So we'll add a body, not padding, that's not what I wanted semicolon, background color, third time's a charm, and we'll go with red. So this is gonna hit the small and medium, and then it's gonna hit the red after that size of 992. If I save, refresh, once again, mobile, small, eventually we'll hit medium somewhere in here. Now, I don't have it set, so we can't actually see where it actually comes into play, but eventually beyond a certain size, we're gonna hit the red size and that is mighty bright. So let's just add a gray, just so we're not looking at a bright red screen. So much better. This is what they recommend. However, they also give an alternative and this is how I like to work. Bootstrap is mobile first. And when I code, I think about it always working in every single environment whereby it should be mobile, tablet, and desktop friendly. But usually I set things for desktop 
And the age old question is, do you design for mobile or do you design for desktop? And I really say both because they're both important, but usually I'm making adjustments on the mobile side because I'm more limited in the space I have to work with, whereby I might have a strong, or should I say tall margin height or margin top, no, that doesn't margin height doesn't make any sense. However, I might wanna reduce that on the mobile side. And if we come back here for a split second, by default, they say you should go mobile first, but they do recommend also that you, you know, we occasionally use media queries that go in their direction. I'm like, that's kind of how I like it because I, while I do think about it being mobile first, I think about it working across all sizes, but usually I have to apply it to the mobile environment. So thereby they say, hey, now we have an extra small in this instance. So before, there's no extra small because by default, it is the default. So here what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change this to now change from min width to max width. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna take out these media queries. And let's add this to gray, just so we're back to square one. So what I like to think about is that as it gets smaller, then apply it to a certain size. So since now we have the extra small, what I use a lot is the at media and then max width of 575.98 PX. This is gonna catch the small size when it hits the extra small. Why did I do that? That's strange. That's better. So now what I can do is I can say body and background color, add our green back into this one. So that, but oh, hello doc. Let's come here, save and refresh. And now when I adjust my browser, it's only when it hits the extra small, does it turn to green. So bootstrap allows to go either direction, either going to min, or max width. My recommendation is stick with one. Don't mix the two, otherwise you're gonna give yourself one really, really big headache. But when I code, and thankfully Bootstrap 5 didn't say don't do this, I generally will use the max width and set my mobile or my tablet specific, and then by default keep it where it is actually XL or L or larger by default. If you want more help in Bootstrap and especially learning the specific differences with Bootstrap 5 versus Bootstrap 4, I have a great video explaining the three big differences within Bootstrap 5. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with The Designer Who Codes.